Good morning, you guys. So, I'm finishing my coffee for the morning. So, I pulled my blanket out sitting here at the computer. Oops, sorry about that. And, uh, let's see my... It's one of the pictures I took when we were in Oregon. That's Trillium Lake and Mount Hood in the background. Um, I'm watching, like, weird YouTube videos, non-crafty YouTube videos right now. Um... So I'm going to work on my blanket a little bit while I sit here and finish my cup of coffee. Unfortunately, I woke up with a migraine. My voice is still heading out, so it's actually quite entertaining. Pippin' here on my blanket. Um, yeah, so I, like last night when I finished my video, like I pretty much uploaded it and went to bed. But I did yesterday get through balls one through four. In my blanket so we're about a foot wide now the blanket is about five foot six five foot seven I'm only five foot five this is a blanket for me pretty much or for us to put over our legs when we're on the sofa so it doesn't have to be super long so I'm gonna keep going with it um, I've got I ordered 12 balls and I got three yesterday so I have 15 balls total so if four balls are one foot, I'll be able to get just shy of three feet with it. And Pippin apparently has found an end and has run off across the room with it. Which I didn't realize when I walked back in here. So I'm going to have to go and recapture that. But yeah, that's my morning so far. It's like 7.30, so by the time I finish my cup of coffee... Uh, Troy gets off to work. I'll uh, go upstairs, get my cutting table cleared, um, oil my sewing machine, and get started on my skirt. So I will see you guys in a little bit. So I wanted to pop in real quick again. Um, I'm almost done with my coffee, so I'm getting ready to head up to the craft room. But I just want to say, and I might even email a Hobby Lobby about this, so I'm on balls five and six going into my blanket. Every single skein of yarn has had at least one join. Now, I'm not generally that um, irritated by joins because that's just the nature of using yarn. But I don't think I've ever consistently had every single ball have a join in it and I've already had one in one of these two and now I just hit one in the other one so literally now I've had one in all six balls of yarn one of them actually had two I don't know if this is a I, I mean I've used I love this yarn before and I've used it a lot but I don't think I've ever consistently had this many joins in a yarn. But I've also never used their prints or their stripes before. This is actually, I love this yarn prints. Um, if any of the rest of y'all have noticed this in like the striping yarns or the print yarn, let me know in the comments below because I, I'm a little annoyed by it because... You know, for every join, you lose anywhere from 8 to 12 inches. So now I've lost 6 feet. Actually, no, I've lost uh, 7 feet because I had 2 and 1. So let me know if that's just a thing with the prints or the stripes or something. Um, I'd be interested to know. Hey you guys, so one of those weird like cooking tip things, if your grocery store's stew meat looks absolutely sad, I actually get a chuck roast and cut it up myself. I also prefer chuck on my beef stew anyway. Um, and I leave all the fat in place, cook, brown it up before I put it in the crock pot or um, put it in the pot to simmer. I use the rendered fat to actually cook and caramelize my onions. So it actually ends up working out for me in the end. 
But I just wanted to jump in here real quick while I was making dinner and give you that tip. I'm sure everybody wanted to see raw beef first thing in the morning, but one of those uh, easy homemaker-y things to up, up, amp up the flavor and also make sure you're salting and peppering as you're dropping it in to caramelize it. So I will be back shortly. Hi, you guys. So I actually did make it up here. I measured out my pattern, got my fabric laid out, got everything pinned down. I'm about to use my pinking shears. These are some inexpensive ones I picked up at Ikea to get it cut out. Um, I ended up going with the little Santa Clauses because I had the largest yardage of that. Um, so I actually have two, two yard cuts folded over here, which is why I've got the clips down here versus the pins. I also, I don't like using pins because you can see how it pulls up a little bit. So you have to be very careful cutting around curves and stuff. Um, so it's going to be a full circle skirt when I'm done. So I've got two pieces that are on the fold here and I think I'm going to need a little bit more length to match the length of my petticoat. So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to pick up like the green in the holly and do a border or a bottom fringe in the green or not. So we'll see, but I wanted to let y'all know where I got to so far. So I literally sat down here just for a minute. Yeah, his eyes opening because the flash turned on. I've only been sitting here for about five minutes. I don't think I'll be getting up until my husband gets home. And Curzon is over there prowling around. Yeah. It might be a while before I get back up to the craft room to work on my skirt tonight. All right, guys. So my, sorry, my camera is about to die. So I wanted to do a quick check-in. So... I did the main part of my skirt. I added my first border on it and top stitched it. And I'm going to take a break. This was pretty exhausting, y'all. But uh, I made progress on it finally. My trashy desk. <laughs> um, I hope that you guys have a wonderful night. And I will talk to y'all later.